Howdy, hi, Spaceman Josh here, and welcome to RimWorld. It is a story generator by this person's name, who I'm not even going to try to butcher. Uh, so, the most I've done with this is I've done the tutorial, and then I added a couple mods, because why not? So, I really have not played the <laughs> this game before, so let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, that's the one I... The tutorial had. I'm gonna do Phoebe Chillax on Builder. I got. I read some of this stuff during the tutorial, so just simple things. What uh, commitment mode or related anytime? What? Uh, okay, commitment mode. Uh, we only save. Anything that happens happens for real. Let's just hit this a bunch. Hold up. I saw one in there. Eggplant. Uh, everything else will keep the same. And we'll generate the world. Okay, here's what we got to work with. So from my understanding, the purple ones are cool. And the yellow and the yellows are also kind of cool with us. However, blue and green are slightly hostile, and red, uh, they just want to kill you. So being next to purple and yellow is okay, but anything else is a no. And because I don't have much experience with the game, I want to try to be like with what they said in the tutorial were keeping near the temperate forests, which would be the light green with some of these brown dots all over. This would not be a lo good location. Uh, we got some purples around here. Got a lake down there. There's a lot of hostiles that way. What is that? Oh, that's just what I have selected. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. A lot of the good places for Temper Forest are kind of surrounded by a lot of things that don't like me. Let's go ahead and be... Uh, it's either right here or right here. And if you notice, also down here, I have the temperature in Kelvin because that's the real, te real only temperature. Because when this temperature is zero, really means zero. Uh... So it's a flat temperate forest, moving difficulty one. Uh, 295 Kelvin, that's 23 C. That's about room temperature actually. So let's go ahead and goes down by 0.4 Kelvin over here, but also the range goes lower. I think I'll go ahead and keep on the more stable range. I don't think any else, anything else changes other than this stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's look at the terrain a bit. Uh, slate and marble or limestone and granite. Uh, there is a large river. <laughs> uh, 723, 693. Okay, that's a huge difference at, for some reason. Growing period is year round. Time zone is plus one, 1 1.2 diseases per year, average frequency. I think this one's probably a little bit better. I don't know what the difference is between limestone and granite and slate and marble. I'm assuming there's probably some difference. It may just be the things you have available. The planet, it's seed, eggplant coverage. Uh, so it's PP06 uh, Mer Meridiana. The, is either, that's either this thing or it's the planet. It's the planet. Okay, so the planet's called this. Okay, so we want to be there. Alright, and then I have... One of the mods I have is called Prepare Carefully. I can probably change all of this. Why did I click this? Yes, I can change all of this. So, that's what I'm going to do. Because I like preparing. And I want to go through all of this and do all of this. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, when I come back, I'll have all this stuff ready to go. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so, here's what I got going on. So, we got Peyton Jenny. So, the backstory for her is she was a, a adventuring child. And that when she came to an adulthood, she became an expert handyman. So, the adventuring child gave it a little bit of, uh, sort of, adventurous, essentially. And so, it, said it boosted sort of the construction and crafting. Uh, as well as extra handyman, it's construction, crafting, intellectual type thing. Uh, so in terms of skills, 
Peyton is really good at sort of building things and trying to put things together. And so she's very interested in construction and mining and crafting, that sort of thing. And she has some interest in sort of shooting and melee, the sort of the sense of, you know, building these gadgets that also sort of protect and or harm depending on how you use them, as well as an interest in just learning how to how these things all work. And then so so some of the traits are uh, the part of sort of the the colony is sort of the idea with it is I have thought sort of in the sense of it would be you're starting a sort of a colony and your these settlers are doing that on purpose. It's just not on the planet they intended to. And so Peyton is sort of the sort of the builder. They're the they're the main person that's that's the best at that. And sort of the trait, and sort of part of being part of that program is all of them have to be fast learners. You have to be able to be adaptable to your surroundings to get the skills necessary to live. And so all of them will have fast learner, but then Peyton is also industrious. Essentially, it's like hard worker, but on steroids. And then too smart. She's too smart for her own good. She learns a lot of things faster, uh, but she also can be quite eccentric. And essentially, that uh, she's a lot easier to upset, in a sense, or have a mental breakdown. As well as she has a burn scar on her right hand, which does some some sort of damage factor. I don't fully understand it myself, but yeah. And then we have Celo Jones. Uh, so, so so he was sort of a child scientist, very very interested in sort of science. Uh, so he's not very good at cooking or socializing, and he's very he's, his medical and intellectual stats are boosted. And then when he went to adulthood, he became a muffalo researcher, specialized in studying manipulating the genetic code of the muffalo. And so he, uh, he's not very good at, he's not, he wasn't the best at melee as a result of that, but however, he's good at animals, medical, and intellectual, and he cannot do any art. And so, uh, he's a fast learner, just like the rest of them. He's staggeringly ugly, and he's a nudist at the same time. And now uh, with the scientist and researcher, when he, when he was doing all that sort of stuff, he wasn't very interested in sort of the melee or anything like that. Um, he was very interested in medical and intellectual, but however, while going through the program to be able to go on, um, on settling, he, uh, they, they sort of forced him into also having to learn about shooting and melee, and the more he learned, the more interested he got. And so he's very, in, he's very interested in being sort of intellectual and very medical, very knowing how to sort of keep himself alive and how to keep others al alive. And then so he sort of has this respect of the, the shooting and melee st uh, skills that he has with, and also do the same thing. Just for different reasons. And then we have Subtle 01. It is a bot designed for the Subtler program. It, uh, this, one is, uh, this one is named Sally Howard, or uh, with codename Subtle 01, designed for the sort of the, uh, the uh, plant sort of side in terms of the food side of a lot of things. The backstory of the robot is essentially a Valkyrie scientist. Medical and intellectual stats increased. Uh, language analyst. That sort of thing. Uh, essentially, the traits are fast learner, great memory, hard worker. This is a this is a machine designed to uh, be good at surviving, and she has a left bionic eye, a right bionic ear, and a bionic spine. <laughs> and then with skills, her are her defaults. Like if you notice, a lot of the defaults are, are the minimum you see is three because they went through training. However, with the robot, the minimums are five. And then the 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 uh, Sally is designed for cooking plants and animals, essentially anything related to food, as well as social interaction. Trying to make sure that the other settlers, you know, don't get sad, or their morale keeps up. And so, all these are set to ten. The social they're specifically designed that to make sure to be a little bit higher. And then intellectual, it's a robot. <laughs> So there is some interest in making in, and keeping it, but they can't get any higher because they made sure that this robot as, was as good as they could be. And so that's sort of that with, with that. With certain terms of age, uh, Celo is biologically 25. Uh, however, he's been alive for 668 years. Peyton is 24 biologically, but has been alive for 667. The robot is bio is biologically 26 years, but has been alive for 29 relatively young compared to the, everything else and in terms of relationships Celo and Peyton are also two people directly responsible for the creation of Subtle 01 and so with all of this we can go ahead and finally hit the start button
Uh, confirm that you're ready to start. Confirm. And this is this is slightly a lot easier than uh, what has been originally done for the game. And I'm doing it a little bit on purpose because I have almost no idea what I'm doing. Uh, the three of you awaken in crypt to sleep uh, to the sound of silence and perfect metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. I'm going to hit the pause button. So they're going to land right there, right there, and right there. I uh, sort of get a zoomed out look at what we're dealing with. Some buildings here and there. Nothing too intense. Looks like there's a... I couldn't tell if that was a building or like a mining thing, but that's a mining thing. What's over here? We got some... Bo uh, boomalopes. Some boomalopes. I'm assuming that's an antelope that goes boom. What's over here? We have a mega sloth. Interesting. What about, what's this? Uh, a warg. So we have some interesting wildlife over here. I think we also got a turtle. Is that a turtle? It's a tortoise. My apologies. We just have different wildlife around the area. I don't know why that's there like that. A stands, sandstone wall. So we can probably claim that and have that be maybe part of a wall for an out, for an outer structure. I'm going to let the pods land for a bit. Okay, and we showed up with K. It's a boom rat. We have a boom rat. Boom, boom rat. So I'm going to allow the movement of these items. Because uh, when you join it, apparently when you uh, first start off, you have to say, hey, you're allowed to use all of this. Wait, nope. Don't do that. I wanted the gun. I want. There we go. Gun. Um, Silo, you are the one that specialized for guns, so you get the rifle. Uh, Southern 01, you're slightly better at things, so you also get a, a revolver. And then Peyton, uh, you will also get this, uh, knife. What's this? Pants. Alright, so I think these are armor? Maybe, probably. Since Silo is the main defender of this, let's go ahead and also tell them to... Where that... Let's go ahead and start this off. And let's go ahead and pause, and let's actually start getting some things taken care of just right off the bat. Uh, so, let's talk pile zone. Let's go ahead and do... A 70 sized stockpile zone. Let's look at the home area. Let's clear the home area. So let's have home area. Let's do a 30 by 20. So that'll be our stockpile. And then let's go ahead and start looking at structures. So let's look at a, a wall. Let's do a. Well, actually, I think first we want to do is we want to do some work. Oh, let's look at the work real quick. What's this? All right, so. Let's see. Uh, all of them are allowed to hunt. Let's do that because there's some interest by Peyton in there. There's some research for, uh, for Peyton as well. Let's take... I don't know why we need art, but I'll keep there just in case. Let's leave the plant cutting to Seller 01 since she specialized for it. Uh, everyone cleans. I leave all cycle. That's another mod, so I don't need that right now. Okay, let's see. In terms of construction, let's all, let's Peyton. Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay. And then Silo Owen will also be a medic if need be. But Silo is the main person for that. Let's... Yeah, so Silo Owen is one of the cooks. Peyton constructs, mines, smiths, tailors, crafts. Uh, Silo Owen is the art person for some reason. 
and uh, to make them so that they're also the grow person plant cut and then some things that CeeLo was directly responsible for let's make them let's uh, let's make them directly responsible for the research since he has the most interest in it I mean also technically we can also have Seller O1 do the research considering she uh, she is perfect in it uh, it's, um, what else? I think for the most part, that's, that's a lot of it. And so we'll leave it like that for now. Robot stab. Ooh, interesting. Uh, don't go down. Uh, let's take a look at work. No, that's architect. I think we want architect. And let's look at orders. Here, here's what I wanted to look at. Orders. Okay. Uh, chop wood. Let's chop the wood in this 30 by... Let's just... I can't... I don't know where the zone is anymore. Um, so, right over here. Okay. Uh, orders. Chop wood. Chop all the wood on the home place. Area place. Uh, let's, uh, clay... Clay in the sandstone. <laughs> also harvest all of this so I think this is probably a decent place to start see there's a couple things to harvest in here uh, there's a couple of things I need to allow still okay so I don't see any more red axes so let's go ahead and start playing again. What's all these? All right. And then beauty display. Oh. Oh. No, they don't, those aren't beautiful. Apparently. Interesting. What on earth is that? What are you? That's the mega sloth. Okay. Interesting. They started to sort of build a sort of thing over here for it. Or make it just color code and I just didn't see it. But let's uh, look at doing a zone. Look at to work on that. Let's uh, do a dumpling stockpile zone. This is where the trash goes. Let's have the trash be over here. Like that. And then let's go ahead and select all of these and haul them. Essentially says, take them to the trash. As well as those marble chunks and the steel slag chunks. Let's go to speed time three for a bit. Actually, we also want to look at doing some construction now that we have some of this wood and all that. Uh, structure. Wooden wall. Let's go ahead and... I don't know how big to make the bedrooms, so I'm just going to kind of make them like a 2 by 3 sort of deal. sort of for the bedrooms and then we'll have a sort of a general overarching area that will be a five by eight and then we'll put in a wooden door and we won't put any more wooden doors there not right now but we'll go ahead and look at Let's see. What about this? Nope. Uh, miscellaneous? No. Furniture. Torch lamp. We'll want those. We'll build it right there. Uh, bed. Wooden bed. Like that. And 
And then let's go ahead and do build a roof area like that. Now let's speed everything up. And would you look at that? Now we're making it better. Now there's an actual indoors. I should probably also have a place for the animal to sleep. The animal sleeping spot. You'll sleep in there. So we have that. Let's continue doing this that way. Is that a rat over there? What are you doing over there? Okay, you're laying down. I was like, it looked like it was like, it was just sideways or something, not upside down. I was very confused. What is that? Ooh, berries. Oh yeah, we need a zone for growing things. Let's go ahead and have it over here, why not? Let's have a 40 spot thing for that. Uh, let's grow some rice for right now. I think that works. Right? Where is cellular one? Prioritize doing that. So now we'll start growing some things. Why is the gun still there? Equip that gun. Right. Let's go ahead and look at the home area. And so it sort of auto expands as well as you build things around it. Ooh, what's this? Allow. And so if you look at the beauty things, see it's not the best over here, but we'll we'll deal with that when we need to. Um. Can you haul that away, please? So this is looking like a nice little thing. Um. Let's see. So, I'm trying to figure out what I should do next. Oh wow, we are. Actually, way past uh, 20 minute mark. I didn't hear it. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, go and hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. If you want, you can also uh, hit the uh, uh, bell. It'll turn on notifications, let you know right when I upload. Other than that, thank you for traveling with me today. Spaceman Josh, out.